Oscar Buzz, do you hear it? Terrence we got Buzz, him, we got it's him. loud. How we doing? Let's We're doing it. well. We've got eight Best Picture nominees. They are Black Panther. Oh, Black, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Panther has a total of like eight. I've got to figure. I out love my how numbers. you're doing it old but fashioned. I with am the doing it old fashioned. But Black Panther, slash. Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, Roma, Make Some History Today, being nominated in Best Foreign category and best picture category did, okay. first Netflix yep. film first Netflix yep. film there's a lot to talk about in Roma a star is born nominated for best picture and vice if you haven't seen vice vice is great made by Adam McKay who made the big short a few mm -hmm. years ago Christian Bale is nominated for playing Dick Cheney in that no big surprises and Black Klansman I th I almost thought it was a comedy when it first mm -hmm. came out uh, well it, there I, are I, funny I, moments yeah, in, no, it, in it, a way that I, Spike Lee can make outrageous things funny yeah. um, Adam Driver has a nomination for his performance in Black Black Klansman uh, for Best Supporting Actor. Black Klansman did really well, actually. Six nominations. Spike has a directing nomination. It. No directing nomination for Bradley Cooper for A Star oh, Is Born. Oh, really? Which is yeah. very interesting. Also, I always find it fascinating when you see somebody like Glenn Close mm -hmm. win for The Wife, and yet the film doesn't itself get nominated, nominated for Best Picture. Sometimes movies do that thing where the performance is better than the picture. Yeah. So right. we don't want to ignore the performances, but maybe the movie doesn't stand up. Uh, a lot of that has been said about Can You Ever Forget? Give me, which both Richard E. Grant and Melissa McCarthy have nominations okay. for their performances, but it only has three nominations. Got that it. and I believe an original screenplay nomination. Now we should reiterate the nominations came down like moments ago. Yes. Are they done or are they still continuing? They're done. Okay, they're, they're done. done now. I've got okay. them all. Anybody um, left off the list or I would say there's a um I haven't been able to dig too deep deep because they've, <laughs> they've just come out, but the Bradley Cooper snub That's for a big yeah. Star is Born, I think, is interesting to say the least. Um, let's and go through I'm, acting categories. Acting categories. Okay, so let's start with Best Actress. What do you think? Fair best uh, Actress, Gaga. we have uh, Lady Gaga, Glenn, Glenn Close. Close, Olivia Coleman from The Favorite, which uh, swept the acting categories for all three women. Um, Olivia Coleman, and of course, we also had Rachel Weiss and Emma Stone for The Favorite. Melissa McCarthy for Can You Ever Forgive for Me? Her. And the delightful actress from Roma, who whose name I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce. Okay. Go, Yalitza Aparicio. Yalitza? Yalitza? Aparicio. Aparicio. Yeah. Um, both her and her co-star were nominated, her co-star and the Best Supporting Actors, both non-actors, mm -hmm. both just regular people who awesome. Alfonso Cuaron... was a Cuaron, big buzz this year, yeah, wasn't it, to, who in Alfonso Cuaron plucked out of nowhere to star wow. in this movie that now goes into the Oscar race with 10 nominations. What an eye for talent, by the way, and how does that make all of these established actors feel who've been through, <laughs> like, how many years of schooling and how many films, and then it's like, here are these people plucked out of obscurity. Well, they but, say movies, it, movies are a director's medium. Mm -hmm. So if you have somebody as talented as Alfonso Cuaron directing you, maybe you don't have to go to method acting school right. or something. Well, and if she's at, and if she's and it was based on it's a, she plays the maid, right? Yeah, the she plays Car the, uh, the house servant, house person who's there to do everything. It's a really complicated story, a very easy story to understand, but complicated in terms of the politics of Mexico and the very has and have mm. nots of Mexico. That mm. is um, something that Alfonso experienced growing up. It's semi autobiographical. If you haven't Important seen Roma, film. Yeah, I need to watch that. Yeah. Okay, best actor. Best actor. We have Christian Bale for Vice. Mm -hmm. No surprise there. Bradley Cooper for A Star Is Born. Okay. Willem Dafoe at Eternity's Gate. Rami Malek, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Viggo Mortensen for Green Book. Which that one might be a little bit of a surprise. I'm very pleased for Viggo. It's a yeah. wonderful performance, um, and I'm glad that he's being recognized alongside Mahershala Ali for Green Book. Okay. Did he get best supporting? Mahershala, Mahershala did get best supporting, best supporting okay, actor. So let's take a look. I mean, those, they're they're yeah. easily the same time yeah, on screen, I mean, but they have to put one up for, for one, one, one up for another. Yeah. Um, best Supporting Actor, Mahershala Ali, Green Book, as we just discussed. Adam Driver for Black Klansman. I love him. If you're wondering who he is, he was in Girls, and of course, he was in Star Wars as well. Sam Elliott for A Star is Born. Richard E. Grant, Can You Ever Forgive Me? And Sam Rockwell, who is fantastic in Vice, playing Bush. That's a good Bush. point, though. If Mahershala has the exact same uh, on-camera time as Vigo, can't they share best support? Like, not well, share, each get a nomination for best supporting actor? Well, because we have film. that for The Favourite. We have both Emma Stone yeah. and Rachel Weisz nominated for The Favourite for best supporting actors, but for some reason, they split up the Can Vigo Mortensen and Mahershala Ali performances. And don't, don't the uh, executive producers, don't they sometimes push one over the other for different... <laughs> 
there's strategy so around because the you want more nominations. You've got best yeah, supporting actor, you've got yeah. best actor, and, and they don't want to cancel each other out. Yeah. And sometimes actors and agents prefer to be supporting. They look at what the roster looks like and the possibilities for each year, and they think they have more chances in one category versus the other. Because in the end, an Oscar is an Oscar. Right. An right? Oscar is an you Oscar. You can say I have won an Oscar. Yeah. We'll put up the full list. We didn't get the best supporting actress. Obviously, Regina King's on there. Yes, yeah, she is yeah. on there. Good. And a shocker that if Beale Street could talk was not nominated for cinematography. Really? I know it's not a com it's not a category we talk about often, shot. but it's a beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, movie. It really is a beautiful mm -hmm. movie. There's our best supporting actresses. Amy, Marina, Regina, Emma, and Rachel. There you go. A little Ratsy. And yeah. it's all happening February 24th. 24th. Yes. We'll be and back with more. We're hosting. Right after Let's this. announce it. <laughs> Still no we're hosting host. it. No hosts. I know. So